The last time I had sex was, it was about five years ago actually. I have not had sex with a living being or a dead being. That's gross. I didn't mean to say it like that, but as I was saying the living being, I thought I'd better clarify. Any kind of being or any kind of implement or chair leg or a dildo or a cucumber, nothing, not had sex, even with myself, I mean, a pleasure, all right, I've got needs, I mean, I have needs and I take care of things, but I haven't had sex for five years, I just wish I could just have sex, you know, and then just, the guy just leaves, yeah, yeah, I know, that's what I thought. Well, all right, then I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Yeah, yeah. Did you just see that? I've got this uh, split personality. I only really know about it when I come out of it. Uh, I think I said something like the door being open, the door was closing and I heard my friend speaking. Somebody will say, what the crap were you talking about? Yeah, sorry. It freaks people out, but it's never bad and it only ever happens for about, I, I don't know, like a minute or something like that. I do think about, you know, if I'm ever going to have sex again. And sometimes I think, well, no just doesn't really appeal just being close to somebody again you know whatever just you know the sex is one thing great because I have amazing explosive sex and I had the best sex ever honestly I can say that out of all of my friends that I know and all of the people that I've ever met that we've ever talked about sex I know that I've, I have the best sex because of what happens to me physiologically and physically yes that happens to me I do that. You know what I'm talking about if you're a guy. And if you're a girl, you may not know what I'm talking about because I never knew that that happened until it happened to me. Until I made it happen. I'm not going to spell it out because you're not paying for it. Uh, you're not paying to view this. But that's the thing is I never knew that that happened. And it took me a while before doing it before I thought what would happen if I carried on doing what I'm doing and on this same spot oh crap ah uh, and that's when it, and, it, and I've met guys who are like oh my god you know god oh, Jesus blows them away so and that's me so I know that you know if I died right now choking on a piece of melon I would be in the top one percent of people who have sex in terms of what you can do and how pleasurable it can be. It didn't happen with the guy in India though because all the time that I was, we went to his hotel, this guest house that he was staying with, it was right in the bottom of the guest house and it was coaching. So it was the, uh, India and it was, you know, if you're going to be in a beautiful place, don't skimp, just spend some fucking bucks and be in a nice place. This place was horrible. It was right below the guest house. There was no windows. It was like being in a dungeon. And he shared it with someone who wasn't there at the time. But there was someone else. I don't know if somebody's going to walk in or not. All the time I wanted to pee. When we went down to his room, I was beginning to feel like I wanted to pee. Then after we got home, I was like, oh crap, I really want to pee. And I didn't want to ask him where to pee because I was afraid of... I didn't want to like walk on a million bloody cockroaches. And second of all... It was just a little bit caught up in the heat at the moment. I didn't want to say, excuse me, can I go and pee? And I didn't have any toilet paper on me. So the whole thing, you know, if, if you're in India, you never know if it's going to be a silk toilet or if you have to clean with your hand. And just, I thought I could get by without actually peeing. But then it got where I wanted to pee more and more. And with the, pen, you know, the pressure on my stomach, it was making it worse and worse. And so I didn't know what to do. And I just ended up, like, trying to have this... Mm, nice sex. Um, get my my pee thing getting worse and worse. And in the end, I, I was just trying to make it happen, and he just said, "Yes, but no, you did. 
Don't do it. No, you do it again. No, I don't know. I don't feel anything. That sounded like he was from Egypt, but he wasn't. He's from Martin from Germany. Very beautiful. The most gorgeous, huge blue eyes that I've ever seen on an individual. It's like something from a Botticelli painting. Absolutely gorgeous. And his body was beautiful. Oh. But I don't really get turned on. I mean, I get turned on by nice bodies and nice eyes, but it's not the thing. I do get turned on by nice eyes, though. Blue eyes. I love blue eyes. Green eyes. Pale eyes. Don't like brown eyes. Unless it's... There's probably exceptions, of course. There's always exceptions. So, I don't know if I'll ever have sex again, but if I don't, that's fine. Sex, it's overrated. I'd rather have a bacon sandwich.